The region's largest home builder is partnering with a suburban development group to open two new residential communities in greater Cincinnati. Fisher Homes is teaming up with Loveland-based Schnick Development Group to open two new residential communities in the region, one in Warren County and the other in Claremont County. The two groups have a long history of partnering on communities together, according to a news release with some of their more recent projects, including the Oaks at Eastgate and the Reserve at Deer Run. Quote, Fisher and Schnick are once again coming together because the two companies are such a great fit, Schnick Development Group Principal Mark Schnick said in a release. Over the last 10 years, we've worked together. It has been a true team approach. We're not competing, we're coordinating and complementing. And that relationship has once again produced two great new new home communities in fantastic locations. I think it's great when you see builders doing this because, you know, it, there's a lot of risk if you're taking on an entire development. So in the Cincinnati area, you'll often see multiple builders partner together in a development so that it, they can kind of mitigate that risk. And the good thing for you as the buyer and consumer is you get to choose from multiple products inside of that neighborhood and that location. The residential communities also will help fill the need for homes across every price point as the low inventory in the region's housing market puts a crunch on the real estate market. Fisher and Schnick's Warren County residential community, Duke Crossing, is located in Mason. The luxury community includes 11 home sites, all with designs pulled from Fisher's Masterpiece Collection. The homes range from $700,000 to more than $1 million, and Fisher is currently accepting appointments. As you guys know, I've talked about on my live videos a lot, getting a new construction home in Mason, Ohio, there's not a lot of opportunities for that. So yes, that price point is higher at 700,000 to a million, but that's because, like I said, there's not a lot of opportunities there for new construction, and it's a very highly sought after neighborhood with great schools in the Cincinnati area. Fisher has already seen a lot of demand for Duke Crossing. Brian Johnson, market president for Fisher's Cincinnati division said in a release, the location at the corner of Socialville Foster Road and Duke Boulevard and within the Mason City Schools District has made it highly desirable. Duke Crossing is also near entertainment amenities like Deerfield Town Center, the Grizzly Golf and Social Lodge and Kings Island, which my family loves to go to. Now, Fisher and Schnick also are working on a 400 home affordable housing community in Batavia called Harvest Meadows. So you got 11 home sites in Mason and you've got 400 home sites in Batavia. Harvest Meadows is a minimum $120 million community and it's going to include a wide collection of single family detached homes, paired patio homes, and paired townhomes. If you wanna see what those homes look like, you can watch the other videos we've done on Bally Shannon and Tuscany where we show you those different products that Fisher homes offers. The homes will be from Fisher's Maple Street collection of affordable homes, which has starting prices ranging from $267,990 to $433,900. The community will take advantage of a 15-year tax abatement offered by the village of Batavia and is located near Interstate 275 and one exit off of US Route 32. So if you know anything about that Eastgate area, you know they've done a lot of work to make it more accessible, easier to get in and out on the interstate over the years. It used to be kind of a mess, but it is much, much better now. I think that location is actually a great part of the city. And now with this new development, you've got a lot of affordable housing options out there, along with that tax abatement, which will save some extra dollars in your wallet. Planned amenities for Harvest Meadows include a swimming pool, cabana, and large open spaces. So you got that going for you. So I got that going for me, which is nice. Johnson said Fisher anticipates high interest in Harvest Meadows based on the wide array of homes it will bring to the market. Harvest Meadows is expected to start sales later this fall of 2023. Now, if you've been thinking about new construction, but you have some questions or just want to talk to someone, we can help. We'd love to be your realtor of choice and give you representation throughout your new build experience. And we've helped dozens of families buy a new build home in the greater Cincinnati area. Email us at info at teamstanio.com to get started and guys, if this video was helpful for you, please give it a like. Be sure to subscribe and join the Stanio Clanio. Thank you so much for watching. Hude, and we'll see you in the next one.